Desert Chains, desertchains.com. I've had some gals come by to model the jewelry and uh, take pictures so we can show people here's what it would look like if it were actually on somebody's wrist. So that was lots of fun. It's about two hours per photo shoot, but now we have the task of editing those photos so that they will look nice and professional when I upload them to my website at desertchains.com. So in this first part, what we're going to be doing is swapping out the sort of ugly gray background that you see there for a nice clean white background. And subsequent videos will also show, you know, cleaning up the acne and things like that. But here, we're going to make a nice clean background. So I already have the image loaded up in Photoshop, and this is a CC 2017 version. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to explain each step, each technique, each tool that I use in order to create the image that we want. So for starters, let's look at any of, we can use any of these three selection tools over here. I just go to the lasso tool. And what that allows me to do then is use this option called Select and Mask up here. I really like the Select and Mask. So we have some tools available to us. Quick Select is the top one. Refine Edge is the next one. And then the Paint tool. And we're going to end up using all three of those. But let's start with the Quick Selection tool. So all I need to do when that is activated, well, first I'm going to click Smart over here and I can just click and drag straight down this model and you see it does a pretty good job already of selecting her from the background click over here on this shoulder to make sure that is added as well now we have a few little issues with the hair over here didn't quite pick up some of those little wispy pieces of hair on either side so I'm going to use the second tool which is the refine edge tool and I'm make my tool a little bit bigger. And all I'm gonna do is click out here in the masked area and just start painting in. And let's see how well it did picking up those little areas. So I'm going to switch my view from overlay view to black and white. I just hit the K, K key on my keyboard to go to black and white. And as you see, it does have all those little hairs picked up, which is great. All right, back to my overlay view, which is V on the keyboard, or I can choose my little selection menu up here. Choose it, you see overlay V, so that's the one we're using. And with my fine edge tool, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to go in across all those little wispy hairs and up in that area where some gaps in her hair. All right, let's see how this did. Yep, we've got all the hair in there, which is great. All right, so now let's just kind of move down uh, her side and make sure we've picked up all those little corners and stuff like this. And it looks like the quick selection has done a pretty good job, actually. One thing I know I will need to do, do a little bit of refining up here on her shoulder. You see how the mask is kind of showing through? I'm going to move my opacity way up. And you see some of that red area up there? Well, I want a nice sharp edge so we can fix that. That we do that with the paintbrush tool, which is our third tool down a little bit and I will simply paint in that shoulder just to make sure it is fully selected. See that I picked up a little bit too much. I can fix that pretty easily on both sides. So same tool but instead of just click and drag, I'm going to use my Alt key, which will do the opposite of what the pen is set to do. So the pen will add, or the paintbrush will add to the selection, but when I Alt, it subtracts from the selection. Get that edge just where I need it. Get our pen, 
I've got this thing really blue, so it's pretty easy to see what I'm doing. Should we get the fingernails? And then alt pen, alt paintbrush, and I can subtract from the selection. Now you see I'm picking up a little bit of that white around there, but we're going to use the um, decontaminate color setting to kind of help fix that. So I know this is a little bit tedious doing this, but everything else that we do with this image is going to depend on having a nice, clean image to work with. So it's worth the time to make sure that I've got a really nice, sharp selection. All right, it's looking pretty tidy up this a bit it's like it has some feathering or something it's sort of a, an area where it's picked up the majority of the image it's left some pixels out which was see through to whatever I put behind it and that's going to look funny all right I think that's pretty good all right, let me look at it in full size view and in black and white. Check. Yep, that's her. All right. So I am going to first hit my decontaminate color. So if there's any little extra shadow uh, kind of fading around it, where we go from the her image into the background, this will help to eliminate that. Any sort of like a halo or a shadow around her. Do that. And then I'm selecting new layer with mask because I need I need a new layer with just her on it. I don't want to select her within the existing image. I need a brand new layer because what we're about to do is slip a nice clean white layer behind her. So my output output two is new layer with mask and OK. And there she is. So here's the original like this. And there she is nice and clean. One thing I can do, I can sort of see that I've got a little bit of that um, kind of transparent area up here. Well, I click on the mask and I can go back and I can actually refine the mask. Again, we use the paintbrush tool and if we paint with white, it will add to the selection. And if we paint with black, it will take away from the selection. I want to make sure that this part of the hair up here is fully in the selection. So let me get my paintbrush, make sure I'm down here on white, and just kind of kind of come in and touch this up. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. There are a bunch of little wispy hairs out there. We don't want to add them to the selection necessarily. So just these big areas doesn't have to be too perfect because when I put the white background behind it, it's going to, um, all that hair is going to show through just fine. All right. So, but I can go back as you see and refine the mask. I just click on the mask icon up here and then I use my paintbrush white to add to the selection and black to take selection, but we're adding. So I'm using black. All right. So let's go back to full size view. There we go. Now to get a white background, it's actually very simple. Uh, while I have that layer activated, I just click down here on my adjustment layers, choose solid color, and I want a white background. So there's white. Where's the image? Well, as you can see, I've got my white background on top of my image. So I just need to drag it down and just reorder it. And there we go. We now have pretty nice image of her on a clean white background. So we started with this sort of crappy look right here and we ended up with a nice clean look. So in the next couple of videos we're going to do some things. We're going to brighten it up a little bit, just a hair. Um, take away that acne on the lower half of her face which will show up in the image when I post it to my website. I'm going to Take out the tattoo, and there's also you know little nicks and scars and things in her hands. We're also going to get rid of the purple halo 
around the jewelry as you can see it there and then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint in her fingernails so right now she's got these plain fingernails but I want fingernails to match her shirt color so that will be the last thing that we do all of that is coming up soon